Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be doing this makeup look. This is what I call the 10 to 12 minute mommy makeup. Like I need to run out of the house. I need to throw something on. I don't feel like, I feel like wearing makeup, but I got to make it quick. Like this is the makeup look that I do. Um, it can take me about 10 to 12 minutes. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. I feel like every time I film, I've got a cat that just wants to cry or get in a fight. I have genuinely good cats. They sleep majority of the day. And of course, when I wanna film, they wanna act out. I'm going in with my No Problem Face Primer. Um, I'm just trying to use this up. I really don't have a, I really don't feel one way or the other about this primer. I mean, it's sticky. I mean, it is nice and it does leave a nice little glow if that's what you're looking for. But I don't know, I don't really, feel one way or another about this primer. It's just kind of like whatever. At this point, I'm just trying to get rid of it. I like to go in with my blush. So I'm gonna be using the LA Colors Red Rouge. I'm gonna be like kind of mixing um, the kind of blush that I use. So I found this technique on TikTok, or not TikTok, I found this technique on Instagram and I think it's been going viral on TikTok. So I like to take and load up my brush and then I just, I kind of like to pat it in first, just to kind of like a little base, little layer. I like to really load it up again and just do this. And then you get some on your eye and you someone, and I feel like it just helps blend everything. And I'm kind of just haphazard with it. I just like, just go in and just boom. I really enjoy how this turns out because you got some on your lid, you got some on your eye, and you kind of get some just about everywhere that I need blush. I just, I just think that's so freaking quick. Like a little base layer of blush. You know, it's just so I know where, to, where I wanna go, kinda, I don't know. I don't know why I do that, but I just like to go in with a base layer and then I just like to go in and just kind of swirl it like that. It's just quick and easy like we like you can see i've got a little eyeshadow on a little blush on if you were to do like an eye look on top of this prime your eyes first and then you can just like add your eyeshadow on top but it should tie everything in but i just love how this looks um and if i need a little more on the center of my face i'll just go in and circle i just think it looks really nice and I just love how it looks. I think I'm just gonna go into this Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. This is in the shade Rosewood. And by the way, you're hearing my AC. Um, I'm not my AC, but my heat. That's the noise, but you kinda have to jam it in there because it doesn't pick up that much. So I'm just gonna go back in, just like really just like go crazy. And I, like I said, I, I just, I love how this looks, but don't worry, like it looks a little crazy, but we're gonna clean it up. And what I like to do is I like to go and take my foundation powder, specifically a powder, and this is the Infallible, L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation. I have the shade, what is the shade? I have 10 Porcelain. Now this is more of a skin match. I do have the shade um, Pearl. Honestly, they both work for me. But um, this one has pants, so I've been using this. So I'll literally, I will literally just take a finger, swirl it, and I'll like go underneath my eyes and kind of use this as concealer. And it kind of cleans everything up from what, and how I like to use it. I like to kind of use it as a girl. Um, it just cleans everything up it brightens it conceals you can already see like a little difference sometimes if it's a little much i'll bring it down like a little triangle very very lightly and then if i have any spots that i would like to cover just go ahead and take some on my finger and just like and it's just a light dusting of a layer it's not anything extreme it's gonna and this blend back out just, boop. And just really blend it with your finger. 
see you can see the under eye bags and this just this helps me not put that much product on my face i really like how it looks again see this red spot got one right over there just take it and just go boop now it looks crazy like that but i usually have to take another finger just kind of blend it out and pat it around the edges sometimes my chin's pretty red i'll just take whatever is left and just kind of do one of those I'm just gonna blend it now i don't like to wear a lot of powder or like foundation or anything i just use it in the areas that i need it the most that are like some red spots and again my skin is can be pretty oily so that's kind of why i like to go on like a powder foundation this is literally it with my my base like my base is done this is typically what i would do and then i like to take my setting spray this is the cover effects now this one is really glowy and it does leave some sparkles on your face and i kind of like to feel around to see where it's not set so i'm going to just take my pretty vulgar setting powder and I like taking a little pat, like a, I like taking a little cotton round and just kind of dipping it into the powder. If you have a brush, you could do that, but I don't have one that I would typically use for this. So I would just take that and just kind of loosely just kind of roll it over the places that I, um, that I sprayed, so like over here, just to kind of give it like a matte finish. I really have been like doing that. At the end of the day, what winds up happening is my natural oils kind of eat through it. And it leaves this really nice, pretty, um, luminous finish. Like you can already see, you can see the difference. I mean, I don't need to point it out to you, but like you can see the difference in that. Now I just do this because I don't have a matte setting spray. It kind of locks everything in too. Even though we used all powders, I still feel like it kind of locks everything in. A little hem with the blush on your cheeks. You can use that to kind of help yourself out too, to kind of tone it down a little bit. Doing this technique, it's honestly one of my favorites. And sometimes if I notice that the blush is like a little toned down, I'll go in with my brush that I had blush on and just kind of like re-go over certain areas, but not too often do I do that. So now that we have the base products done, brows. I've been. I'm going to use the Good Brow Day by Profusion, and I have the shade Soft Black. So this is typically when I put my brow products on, and I literally have just been doing brow mascara. I have not been doing any pomade, I have not been doing any pencil, or like brow marker, nothing. I've just been literally doing brow mascara the whole time. I really love how it looks. Oops. <laughs> I'm in with just mascara, and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. I'm just chucking on some mascara. And I mostly just do the top, I, don't, I rarely do the bottom because I find that it can get pretty messy. So yeah, we're just gonna do the top mascara. I don't put any lips products on. Like if I do, it's probably a tinted chapstick. Um, oh, sometimes I get one with this brown mascara. We all know, Great Lash brown mascara. Um, and or I like to go in with the um, Wander Beauty Unleashed. I like to go in with the Rare Beauty mascara and sometimes the Maybelline one where it's washable. I can't remember. What it's called this is the finished makeup look um it doesn't really take me that long to do if i'm really in a rush and i'm not downstairs filming it i could say it can, probably can take me um i'd say 10 to 12 minutes 12 minutes only because i really like to take my time on my lashes sometimes i'll have a little eyeliner on sometimes i'll throw on a lip but typically i don't do any I, generally speaking, I don't put on any lips, nothing. Um, I keep them bare, or I put on a tinted lip balm. Like this, this is it. This is the quick and easy mommy makeup.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.